You know what's funny? There's like, I think that there's all this credit that you were hooping like a black dude, but I don't know any black dudes in the NBA that were hooping like you. Well, I think we saw street ball, but it, one, you were yeah. playing in such a unique way that it was always really funny to me that people. That's the ultimate street cred. You play like street ball. Of, of <laughs> course, like that. of course, a hundred percent. But it was like even the name White Chocolate. Yeah. Right. It was as if like every other black dude was playing like this. It was like no, they weren't. Like and even when Rafer came into the league, Rafer wasn't getting off like he would get off in M1. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if Rafer had the opportunity. You, know you didn't have the opportunity. You just did. The well, I mean, I, like, like when I got drafted, you know, I, I was the only point guard on the team, so I had to, I had the keys. Bro. Oh. I, I, I was going to rock. He let me rock. And Rick Adelman, shout out to Rick Adelman, my coach for Sacramento. He told me in the first game, he said, you know, if you come down and, and, and throw a behind the back pass and it goes out of bounds, he said, don't worry about it. Next time, try it with your left hand. So hearing that kind of like, look, he got my back, man. He's like, like he knows I'm trying to win. So 